What's up guys, my name is Brandon and two weeks after the release of beta 3, Apple returns today on a Monday with iOS 12.2 beta 4. So of course in this video we're going to be going over what's new in this software update. We're going to talk about the battery life, the performance, all that good stuff you guys already know the deal. So if you guys missed my follow up video on beta 3 that I uploaded a few days ago, definitely check it out. It's up in the cards right now and also down in the description below. But basically in that video I discussed how good the battery life has been, but how bad the performance has been. and the connectivity issues also still persisted in beta 3 so hopefully beta 4 fixes that we're going to talk about all of that in today's video and of course i will have a follow-up video for beta 4 as well probably later on this week or early next week all right so anyways let's go ahead and discuss beta 4 so you can see here the update came in at 390.1 megabytes here on my iphone 10r of course that will vary depending on your device and the version you're coming from and if you go ahead into settings general and take a look at the new about page you can see right here the build number if we tap it there, 16E5212F. So now let's go ahead back to the home screen. And the first thing you're probably gonna notice is the new icon here for news. And me personally, I am not a fan of this new news icon at all. I think that it should have been maybe a red background with a white in, but instead it's a white background with red. And it just looks kind of, I don't know, it looks tacky to me. What do you guys think? So there is a new news icon here on the springboard. Also, if we go back into our settings, and go down to the news section here, you'll see that the icon is also changed inside of settings. And then we also have another new icon change, but this time in the control center. So if you go ahead and swipe down on the control center, you're gonna notice that the Apple TV remote now has a new icon than it did in previous versions. You can see here in beta three, the icon was just an Apple logo with TV next to it. And here in beta four, you can see we have an actual remote. And if you 3D touch on the icon, you can see that we do have a little bit of a different layout as well. These two toggles are switched. So you can see the voice is on the right right now whereas it was on the left on beta 3 and you can see they've kind of just flip flop so it seems like apple really can't make up their mind with the apple tv remote they're really tweaking this literally every single beta of 12.2 there's been a change with the apple tv remote inside of the control center so definitely working on that definitely confused it'll be interesting to see what they choose for the final release of 12.2 what kind of you know design they're going to have for that now another change here in beta 4 is if we go into settings and we go to messages if you go all the way down you're going to see that message filtering is now not in its own separate section. It's just right here and there's just a toggle to turn it on or off. And just for comparison in beta three, you can see right here, there is a section called message filtering and it's like that here, but it's just a toggle now and it actually has a description under there instead of just a full section. And inside of here, you have two settings to, to change. So it looks like we don't have SMS filtering anymore and that could just be due to me not having a SIM card in there, but this is new. I didn't notice this before. And then another change, which I think is actually a bug right now is that the Apple Pay cash icon inside of beta four is just a black rectangle instead of actually showing the graphic for Apple Pay cash now and then the final change that I noticed so far is the modem firmware did get updated once again it does seem to be a regular thing now every single beta the modem firmware does get updated you can see it went from 1.04.21-2 to 1.04.28 so again this is in hopes to fix any kind of connectivity issues you're having with your LTE or Wi-Fi and I'm really hoping we get a fix for that because it's still bad here in beta 3 my Wi-Fi it doesn't really drop out as much as it used to but it just seems to be slow now like it'll stay connected but everything just loads so slow and it's the same deal with LTE as well which is really annoying so yeah those are pretty much all of the changes I found so far here in beta 4 I'm sure there are more again I've only been using this for about 30 minutes now and I will report back to you guys in a follow-up video if I find more changes here but let's talk about the performance battery life all that good stuff so of course it is still way too early to really be able to tell you a definite yes it's better yes it's worse than beta 3 but as of right now everything seems to be pretty smooth I mean I don't really notice any hiccups I did you know open up a bunch of applications and you know multitask and everything and it seems to be running fine here on my iPhone 10R. I'm hoping the battery life stays the same as it was in beta 3 because the battery life as you guys saw in my follow-up video was amazing here on my iPhone 10s Max really love the battery life I hope they don't touch that at all I hope it's like that in the final build but yeah one thing I really do hope improves with beta 4 is the connectivity again it's not really like I drop connection a lot on my iPhone 10s Max like I used to but it just seems to be a lot slower than it has been in the past so really hope that this new modem firmware update does fix that especially with LTE now one bug that seems to still be impacting people here on beta 4 is that the Amtrak application if you use that it seems to crash on launch so it doesn't launch for whatever reason here in beta 
beta 4. It was the same situation with beta 3. Now, if you guys have noticed any bugs, let me know in the comment section below. I showed you guys a couple bugs in my follow-up video. I have not found any other bugs since then, but I'm sure I will find some within the next week here on beta 4. Hoping I don't run into any of the connectivity bugs. I see some people saying, somebody actually messaged me on Twitter saying that with beta 3, the only way they were able to have stable connection via Wi-Fi is if they kept toggling on and off Wi-Fi inside their control center. Basically, they were saying that it showed that it was connected to Wi-Fi, but it wouldn't work unless they toggled off Wi-Fi and then back on and then it would start working again. So hopefully not many of you guys have that issue. If so, I hope that beta four does fix it for you. Again, it seems like Apple is really struggling to contain, you know, all the bugs and the issues with connectivity. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it here for iOS 12.2 beta four. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and of course subscribe so you don't miss the follow up video so you can see some more changes here in beta four and how it's been running on my daily driver, my iPhone 10s Max over here. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.